my name's Robin Tiffin. I live in Malawi in Africa. I'm 55. I've been living in Malawi for 13 years. As I say, born and bred in Zimbabwe, but i um, been around the world a bit. And I now live in, uh, permanently in Malawi. Um, I have a few hobbies and interests. My main business is a company called Waste Warriors, where we uh, specialize in the disposal of waste. My other hobbies are cricket, golf, um, I love watching sports, I'm an avid reader, um, I'm a bushman, I love walking in the bush, I have worked in the bush. I started having discomfort due to my spine probably about two years ago and it's gradually gotten worse. Uh, it manifested itself in October last year. Uh, we have been in contact with the local orthopedic specialists in Malawi who in turn recommended through my uh, insurance company in Malawi that I would uh, require uh, neck surgery that cannot be done in Malawi through my insurance company. They recommended coming to India. Manipal Hospitals of Bangalore initially had a, an interview, a Zoom interview with Dr. Vidya, who is the, the spine specialist. While I was still in Malawi, we went through the whole process based on what knowledge he had. He already then uh, instilled a lot of confidence in me. Initially, with the reports that were available from his country, we had seen that he has a cervical myelopathy and he needed a surgery for his neck. But there were not enough reports to suggest whether a fusion surgery was necessary or just a decompression would help. But he decided to come all alone. And upon arrival, we saw him, we evaluated with fresh set of tests and uh, which included blood tests, x-rays, MRIs, nerve conduction study, etc. And also the general uh, cardiac evaluation, which included ECG, ECO. He was found to have severe lump cervical myelopathy with canal stenosis from C3 to 6 with instability. He had a severely spondylotic spine and he was given an option of surgical decompression of the cervical spine with instrumented fusion from C3 to 6. Patient was explained all the risks and the benefits of the surgery which was proposed to him and the consent was taken from his wife telephonically and we proceeded with the surgery knowing very well that there was nobody with him. He was a brave man and uh, we did the surgery which lasted for about three hours and the next day he walked without anybody's support and we removed his uh, urinary catheter. He had the sensation, he was going around. He was kept in the hospital for five days because we didn't want to take any chance because he was alone and we didn't want him to be outside the hospital. Otherwise, typically our patients get discharged within the first day after surgery and then we have excellent home care, physiotherapy and nursing facilities. However, in his case, we kept him for five days and then we shifted him to the guest house so that he can go around outside the hospital and look around the uh, city of Bangalore. So now he's, I think, uh, almost 10 days after surgery. I have seen him today, his wound has healed and uh, we have removed the bandage. He is able to move his neck and he is wanting to go back to golf but we have uh, restricted him from uh, going back to golf for a month or so and then he can be rest assured that he will not need us after that. We are thankful for his confidence in us and uh, for his uh, trust in the hospital. The surgeons are outstanding. Um, after 10 days I've just seen the surgeon and uh, he's very pleased with the process and progress. He says I've healed already, they've removed the dressing and um, probably within a month I'll be back to doing what I want to do. The Manipal International team um, have been there to support me all the way through from Sampa, Swati, Damien, the whole team, they've all been very good. From the physio guys to the anaesthetist, they've all been very good to me. The nurses at, in, uh, in Ward 10 are fantastic. They're very responsive. The surroundings, everything is it's clean, it's, it's quiet. Yeah, I'm very impressed with the hospital. Um, so now it's just the healing process. Um, I will be in touch with the doctors and Manipal. I've made some good friends. Um, so hopefully this is the last time I come to India for medical. Next time I hope I'm a tourist. Thank you to Manipal Hospitals of Bangalore. Fantastic facility. Very well organized, controlled. Um, it's world class. <music>